Welcome back to the topic microservices and centralized logging. In this video, we'll discuss ELK, that means Elasticsearch, Logstrash, and Kibana integration with Pentaho 9. Steps to be followed You need to download Pentaho 9 and run your local machine. Download Logstrash Logback Encode Jar from Maven repository. The link is provided here, or you can download from any other website. You also need to download other JAR files like Logback Core, Logback Classic, Logback Access, SLA4J, Jackson Data Mine, Jackson Core, and Jackson Annotation. You need to create one logback.xml configuration file. Let us discuss architecture. If you download Pentaho 9, you will get a lot of directories in that software. Inside data integration directory, you will get classes and leave folders. All the jar files already downloaded mentioned in the previous slide need to be placed under the leave folder. And the configuration file logback.xml you need to place under the classes folder. Once you run the Pentaho 9, it will generate log and you can do in two different ways one is you can create a single log file that will be saved inside a log file your log data or you can set the log to elasticsearch via log trash and elasticsearch data can be viewed by using kibana so in this video in the practical section We'll see how to generate logs and saving to a log file. We'll also discuss, also do some hands on how to send logs from Pentaho to Elasticsearch and view in Kibana. For logback integration with Pentaho 9, you need to download first the Pentaho application. Pentaho software, which is here, I already downloaded, and you need the required jar to be downloaded. The jar required is Jackson annotation, Jackson code, Jackson data bind. You have to also need logback, access classic code, and logback encoder. Okay, SLJ, SLF4J that uh, is already there, I hope. So let's copy and if i go to data integration in center main directory so i'm just pasting everything okay. so apart from that you need a logback.xml configuration file which i already created the last time and i will modify that file so in the logback.xml uh, this is only the file appender i need to create another appender so this is sample appender. Just copy and paste here. This is a uh, log trash TCP socket appender, which is report four five six zero. So log trash is listening on that port. So that pent application will send log information over that port by TCP uh, protocol. And you can um, refer through the website. I will give the website details in uh, in the video description. So now I need to create uh, refer that is uh, copy paste and uh, log trash passing paste it. And apart from that, I need another property, the context property. So I can create one or two, but the tag is more important. So I will tell you why tag is important. So it's a context parameter that will be appended to each and every log. So based on the tag, we create the Kibana index in the Elasticsearch index. Save it. Now, uh, before starting Pentaho, uh, I'm going to start uh, log trash with data integration. So let's go to log trash. Yeah, log trash. What is the configuration? Let's see the log trash configuration. 
so i have uh, the log trash available here now if i go to config i have created one configuration file called log trash.connect so here is the input tcp is listening to port uh, 4560 whatever data is coming from print our application so that is uh, converted in json format an output there are three output format one is, is going to elastic search and uh, you see the tag is uh, whatever tag we defined here based on the tag name it will create elastic search uh, uh, index and uh, the data also we are printing in, in the std out in the terminal and also we are saving in the uh, in the file so these are two these two are optional so uh, if, but uh, for elastic search you require this one okay so now start uh, log trust but before log trust starting yeah elastic search must be up and running so i'm just running elastic search elastic search as well as i'm going to run kibana as well let's see the kibana so i'm uh, taking the default configuration there is no cluster nothing stand alone elastic search okay so Elastic search is running. Let's see whether uh, properly running or not. Uh, yes, it's running properly. Uh, the node is running properly. It's published address. Okay. Now I need to uh, run the log trash. Yeah, it's referring the configuration file log trash dot conop. And let's see. Uh, if I go to yeah, it's still running server ESS. Log trash is a Java implementation uh, approval language, so it is taking some time to start up. Okay, and uh, let's see whether that my Kibana is uh, running properly or not. Refreshing Kibana. <clears throat> so if i go to management and go to index button so there is no index as of now now the lock trust started is running on uh, yeah it's listening on port 4560 now i'm going to start my uh, print of application is phone dot back so it's Pentaho ID will be opening and logs are generating in the background. Okay. And uh, let's see whether uh, any index is created or not. If you see, yeah, data is generating in the JSON format and it is sending to Elasticsearch. If I go to Elasticsearch, yes, the Pentaho. Uh, from the pent out the data log is coming to elastic search and in order to give and keep on let's create index pattern okay so if i go there create index pattern take pentaho services as it is or you can put the start the leading position and then you need to create the time stamp Now, if I go to discover, yeah, that uh, the last 15 minutes, what are the logs are generating? So it's coming now in perfect way. Okay, so, and uh, if you want to create reports, you can generate the reports from here, from visualize different, different reports you can generate. So that's all for for now this video is a part of video series based on the topic microservices and centralized logging if you like this video then please like share and subscribe the channel thank you